Hi everyone, welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. Today we are riding the Harrogate World Championship Circuit, which also features on Zwift. I've never done it before. So today, the video is just gonna be all about that. Plus I'm also gonna compare it to like my home roads and I've ridden Yorkshire before. So yeah, I'll just give my general thoughts on it. So it just so happens I'm up here for a cycling event and I thought why not make a video of riding around the Harrogate World Championship finishing circuit the same one that's on Zwift and just take you along for the ride show you the climbs show you the scenery how it differs currently we're on Harlow Hill which is the first climb on the circuit just back there was the roundabout just after the start finish area and uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a long drag up here. 3% constant, but it kicks up near the top. Don't remember these traffic lights in Zwift. This Harlow Hill climb has also been the place where I've been able to launch a few attacks during a race on Zwift. It's, it's like just long enough to sap people's energy and to you know if you were getting near the top and you were starting to really creep that would be the place to attack I can imagine it hurt a lot in the real world championships little side note there's some wonderful houses on this road very wonderful houses and it is somewhat quiet except when I get back into town I'll have to do that on foot because it is a one-way system which I can't ride on my pedal machine. Just cresting the top of Harlow Hill. Definitely gets steeper, five, six percent. But as usual, Zwift does a good job of making a climb feel shorter and easier than it really is. I'll let this bus pass me first before I super tuck. Uh, I mean, uh, the reverse of this course you will know that it is of course a very hard course in both directions and I'm sure a lot of you who are native to this area are saying haha he's not got to the real uh, hard stuff yet okay so we've dispatched Harlow Hill easy easy <laughs> now we're gonna head right we're gonna take in the back half of the course Looking forward to this. If you're enjoying the video at all, in any way, please give it a like. This is that grippy section road down over the top. Need to get aero. Okay, so this is Harlow Hill. We've just come along the top. We're now taking a right hand turn, which is right here. So we're going to head along uh, Pot Bank Road now. Uh, we had the little squiggly descent that we have to do and then we had to penny pot lane
just come down the twisty 100 km an hour descent. It's not quite 100 km an hour when you when you're coming down here in real life. <laughs> but I remember the worlds when they were here. It was such a wet day. Coming down there must have been real tricky, even for the best guys. But this road is so grippy. You can really get a feel for it now. It really doesn't do it justice, but you know, once you've kind of come down there and you hit this section, it must have been absolutely awesome to race around here. Such a hard circuit. The road surface is actually surprisingly good. I've ridden, I raced the Tour of Yorkshire, had a fair share of bad roads, but I have to say, so far so good. This is it, just coming to the Jubilee roundabout. We're gonna hook a right here, and it looks like we're heading right back into town. Really short circuit, obviously, but it doesn't lack excitement, that's for sure. I wouldn't actually mind doing laps around here in the real world. Very slight downhill now for a while, and then we hit the infamous climb. You know the one, you know the one. <laughs> This is it then, this is THE climb, the one everyone talks about, the one everyone's scared about on Zwift, I'm sure they're all cacking it in the real world championships as well, but this is, yeah, this is for real, this is 9%, I'm not a fan of these short ones, but I like these where you get like a nice big swoop of speed into them, and boom, you can really attack them hard. say a lot of people compare Wales and Wales' roads to that of Yorkshire and I have to agree it's very very much the same format short sharp climbs good roads not amazingly fast descents but just hard roads to ride on you know what I mean there's a cyclist just in front of me has he got a power up I don't know how am I gonna catch him I don't know. Somehow it feels like it's not over yet. No, it's not. Ample of uh, car parking here on the right hand side. If you fancy parking and getting any car halfway up. This is the last kick up to the KOM banner at the top. Need to remind you guys, if you're enjoying this video, you're enjoying the effort I'm putting in, or you're just enjoying the scenery, Make sure to hit that like button, share it with your buddies. So we've come down this descent now, off the KOM. Now we're heading rapidly into town, as you can see, it is townhouses. But this is a very nice road, a very nice road. Hopefully there's a nice cafe at the end of it. How nice is this? People playing in the park. Sharp left coming up, right? Left. You know, granted the indoor world is amazing, but I think we can all agree something we don't quite get is that feeling of, or the sense of what is actually around us like the height of the buildings, the smell from the blossoming trees, the parks. Okay, I'm sounding a bit soppy now, but you get the idea. 
Here's our right turn. Sprint point coming up. Like instantly, this has a feel. Yeah, you know, you see this, this, this now feels exactly like that section just before the sprint. Okay, so we're through the sprint, Vanna, we've turned right. Now we're heading down another lovely little... Okay, I'll admit it. I've just got a little bit lost. I need to uh, consult the map. It's confusing. It's confusing. Okay, so I think this is the road I should have gone down rather than that one. Basically, I just went one, I went one road too far down. This is the curvy road that takes you back to that weird junction where you go back on yourself. So here I am. I'm just coming back to the descent. Wonderful. I found myself where, I found where I am again. You can see down that hill is where we came from. Now into Harugit. This is where you would turn right. But these set of lights, you would turn right, but it's one way. It's one way. And it's only one way that way. So I can't turn right. But that would have been that there is the finishing climb. I'll try and get onto the pavement and show you. But uh yeah. Don't try and ride up it. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I enjoyed riding the course. I really, really recommend if you're ever up in this far north of England to ride in Yorkshire. It is, in my opinion, like the capital of cycling for the UK. One of the best places you can ride your bike. Highly, highly recommend. Yorkshire, Harrogate, you've got some climbs, you've got some climbs and they definitely get the seal of approval. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone.